Now, the first question that I would like to ask you, Hendrik, is what made you to embark on this haunting journey to uncover uh, the disappearance of your father and the child? Well, did you contemplate this journey for a long time? And once the opportunity arise in Poland, independent Poland, after the political transformation in 1989, you captured that opportunity, or was this a sudden move, a sudden decision? It was a little complicated. Uh, I felt it was my son's duty to give that burial to my father, not to leave him somewhere in the middle of, of, of a field where that place occasionally was desecrated in, in a very vulgar way. I know that for sure. I even wrote about it. So I was thinking about it, but it was difficult logistically. So even after the fall of the uh, regime, in 1989, I still didn't rush to Poland uh, until, well, in the, in the fall of 1991, I was in Paris. And at that point, uh, Pavel Lozinski, a young filmmaker from the Lodge School of Film, approached me. And he said that for his diploma he needed a film about a Jew returning to Poland and tracing uh, the past of uh, the fate of his uh, immediate family. If I would like to appear in that film, and he would just follow me with his camera. And I said no, because although I was planning to find my father's bones and uh, rebury them. Uh, I felt it was a private uh, matter and I didn't want uh, to make it public, a, pu a public affair with this, uh, with a film. I said no. And then he asked me if I would think of somebody else who could do that. And I said I would think about it. And I was thinking for a couple of days while still in Paris and then I came to the conclusion that I should do that because the, uh, the filmmakers would enable me to find that place and they would give me not only physical protection but moral support and uh, physically it would be easier to do. And besides, I was thinking that uh, uh, it was my uh, duty in general to disclose such a story because if not I, who? And, uh, and I didn't care, I, I didn't want to appear as a, as a Polish writer returning to Poland and you could see in the film, it's never mentioned. And even my last name is barely mentioned there. And besides, the peasants don't recognize the last name. For them, a Jew had only first name in general. So my father was Abram, and I was the son of Abram. And that was it. Oh, of course, now they know that there are books about them and about my father and about myself, so they, they know about my existence as a writer. But in those days when I reappeared in Poland, all of a sudden it was done in secret, by the way. Uh, the press was not allowed to, be, uh, to know about it. Uh, I came, uh, I was picked up at the airport by the filmmakers. They took me to a private home, not to a hotel. Uh, the private apartment. They would pick me up each morning, very early in the morning, and we would drive to those villages. And by the evening they would bring me back and I wouldn't show up anywhere. I, I would, wouldn't call any of my old friends or, or anybody 
until the film was finished. 